Fry Fry Friday. Well, hello, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday. So I'm looking in my real red-eyed albino guppy tank, and what I thought was a guppy fry turned into a, looks like a pink panda platy. How in the heck did that get in there? Could explain why there's no fry if he's hunting them as they're born. Oh, looks like I have a dead fish in there. I wonder if that was a female. That could also explain why I don't have any. Huh. Well, that sucks. That really does suck. I gotta get me some females. Well. Alright, well, let's keep going with Fry Fry Friday. So we have the pink pastel steel nebula colony that has exploded. You know, there's one, two, three, six million fish in there. Whatever. So that's nice, right? Got these guys, the fancies. It's kind of a mix or mutts of where I put, and you can see most of them are red because that's where they started. You know, this one's got the uh, the midnight sunset. I don't know what you call it. I just made that up. T tuxedo, flame tuxedo. We can call it. There's some cobra patterning in there. Yeah. So these are the. Pink Panda Platys, also called Peppermint Platys, that obviously had some fry and they're growing up. I have to this week and I have to figure out where I'm gonna put them. They need a bigger tank. They're in a 10, they at least need a 20. Um, this is kind of my, this 30 is kind of my catch-all for oddball angelfish. Um, although I do have those really nice koi angels that I'm I'm getting ready to figure out where to put those to breed off. I just need a 20 for those down by the angels. So, got to figure that out. Uh, I do have one silver or one... Uh, there he is, hiding behind the corner. She is. That's a female, actually. What are they called? Marbles. And then one of the uh, light-colored koi that I don't know if I'll be able to sell because it's pretty light-colored. But... Gotta figure out where to put those guys um, if I decide to use this tank for the Panda Platys, but I kind of want to use one of these 20 highs. Uh, I like them a lot. The original plan was to sell all these Tangerine Platys to my local fish store, which video hopefully you've seen today. Today is being Thursday, which I released it. This The video that I'm making right now will be released Friday. Anyway, long story short, he didn't need them, so I didn't sell them, so I have this tank, I don't have that tank space. So I gotta figure out where to put them. We have one more uh, koi angel, um, just to make sure this tank stays cycled, but I gotta get rid of him too. Uh, half black guppies also exploding. The colony is exploding as well as these Japanese blues. Uh, they've dropped quite a few different batches of fry in here. Um, I like, that one is just fantastic with the lower sword tail. That's, that's gorgeous. Look at that big dorsal fin, too, with the yellow. I mean, that's a good-looking fish. Got the blue diamonds here and uh, a weird variation of this, this red cobra-ish fish. Looks good. I just got to get them out of there. And uh, I don't know where I'm going to put them. Probably with the red cobras. Uh, so these, this is the tank, the blue neons, blue neons, the neons, neon sword tails that I sold. Uh, I have a trio of these that are already sold to Jason um, from Jadrin, Jadrin uh, Aquatics. He has purchased some sword tails from me. He's actually purchased almost every fish in my fish room. We're just making sure he has cycled tanks before we ship them out. And obviously I don't want to ship, you know, all uh, those fish at once to him. That would be a problem for him probably. So he said, we'll do, you know, like two or three trios a week. And that's what we've been doing for the last couple months. You could go check out his channel. He has got some unboxings. Big soccer fan. Unfortunately, he likes to wear a Liverpool jersey. So he won't be getting any more fish from me. No, I'm just teasing. 
Uh, anywho, I did sell a bunch out of here in hopes to get these to start breeding again. Um, and we'll see what happens. What else? Fry, fry, Friday. Fry, 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 fry. The cobra tanks are doing well. I have uh, lots of yellow cobras outside. Not too many in here, which I just kind of noticed. Um, also, I'm growing java moss at a quite, quite a good rate. May or may not go for sale in small quantities. Stay tuned for that. Um, cobra, cobra, cobra. Oh, purple delta. I thought everything was going well in here. I had two pair, lots of fry. I don't see any females. I know I lost a female a while back, but I don't remember losing that second female. So there's no adult female in here. So I think what I'm going to do, and follow me on this, I'm going to take that lone koi angel, put him down with the other koi angels, and put the males in here and just let the babies grow up. Put the male purple deltas up in that tank just to get them out of the way so that we know they're not eating any fry and yeah that's what i'm gonna do this weekend so yeah um all right angel babies angel fry growing up nice steel nebula guppies look at them colored up they look beautiful can't wait to get this colony going um yeah red wags nothing special there now let's talk about the chocolate mollies before I went on vacation, I had chocolate molly fry. I came home from vacation, and I don't see any chocolate molly fry. Which doesn't hugely surprise me if they didn't get fed for four or five days. They would have snacked on their fry. So, kind of sucks, but I kind of expected it. I don't think, I think that's just a leftover. Oh, that might be a fry though, right there. I take it back. I just might be a fat guy who can't bend down. Let's look from the top. Oh, yeah, there's fry in there. Just forget what I said before. Yeah, that's fry in there, chocolate molly fry. <laughs> uh, sunset platy fry, lots of guys growing up in here. Kind of eating in the weeds and hanging out behind the rocks. This light has taken a dump. I gotta fix that this weekend, so it's hard to see anything in these tanks. You can see these high fin sunsets looking great. Um, I'm expecting some spawning activity this weekend. I'm gonna do some pretty big water changes and gravel vacs or cleaning of these tanks. And then uh, then add some cold water and see if we can get some spawning going. Fry Fry Friday continues. Uh, bluegrass guppies. Again, they're looking pretty pale and crappy. So uh, I don't know. I'm gonna probably take a female or two and put them with the uh, muck guppies. See what we get out of that. Uh, panda guppies doing well, breeding well. You know, uh, Kyle from Kyle's Wild World, um, let me know he's got some yellow babies. I had some yellow babies, but it looks like they've all started to turn to the panda-ish color, so um, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't see any more yellows in here. If you guys do, let me know. There's one that's pale right there, but I think that's just a female that's going to color up as it gets older. Which is, I think, what has happened with the rest of mine. I don't know that for sure, but that's kind of where I'm at. Um, yeah, <clears throat> red wag platies with the one lone guppy in there. I gotta take out um, the red Russian lace tank. I think all I have is one adult female. I think I lost a male and a female when I was away once, but there's quite a few fry in there, so I'm just leaving them. Uh, these German half blacks with the fancy tails. Look at that! Look at that fry with the the blood worm that's bigger than the fry. That would be me. Um, these guys are doing well, so that looks nice. Nothing out of the what are these things called? Red brick swords. I thought I had some fry in here. I really don't. I gotta gotta take a look at the water movement too. Looks like it's a little slow. I don't know what to do. If they're not breeding, I want the tank space for something that is going to breed. So, yeah, I guess we'll see. Um, breeding for profit wouldn't be complete without a update of the tanks outside. So, let's go take a look at the tubs. Come with me. Stay tuned. All right, fishy folks. Sorry about the air conditioning, but it's it's like 
like desert Africa hot here. It's like, hey, let's look at nature. That's a bee that's going to town with the pollen. Boom, boom, no, sorry, wrong music. Anyway, so it's gonna be like 100 degrees here in South Jersey and air conditioner has been going constantly for the last couple of days because it's hot. But my cupping toes don't feel that hot. Yeah, I mean, based on my very accurate finger thermometer, I purchased these at Amazon, through my Amazon store. Um, yeah, bigger, they feel about 78, so, I mean, that's fine. But uh, I hadn't feed, fed these ever. They've been out here for at least a month, and I haven't fed them at all. And we have fry. But I'm going to start feeding them because I want the fry to grow, and I want more fry. So... You can see there's a lot of fry in there. Everybody's doing well. Same thing in here. A lot of fry in there. I don't know if you can see them with the light. Yeah, you can see them, I think. So, plants are doing well. This is what happens when plants grow outside, out of the water. They change their leaf shape. Uh, yeah, water hyacinth. The roots hang down. Gives the guppies some place to hide. Also, eat off. Um, obviously there's duckweed, because there's duckweed everywhere in my fish room. Any fish tank I have, there's duckweed. I don't really care. It provides a little shade for them and, and a place for bugs to land and the fish to eat them. So Let's go take a look at the mollies, see if we can see any mollies. I have seen them a couple times. And I, ha I thought I saw a fry the other day. Um... I don't know if we're going to see them today. Kind of, the setup kind of, oh, there's a fry right there. See it by the airline? See it? Right there, yeah. No, there's at least one fry in there. Um, what I'm going to do is, and I may even do it before the summer is over, um, I'm going to cut the top completely off. And this one is all cattywampus, it's crooked. That one is straight, you know, it's got green water, but. So I may, oh, there's a adult. I may, uh, I gotta figure out how to catch these guys out, including the fry. I may catch the adults and see if I can drain, you know, through the hose, the fry into a, a bucket or something. I don't, I don't really know. But there's the adults. So everybody's in there and there's fry, so that's good. I didn't really think this this batch through, so I think I'm gonna cut the top off so it's more wide open. Um, I don't think I'm going to uh, cut it here. I'm gonna try to cut it here, but we'll see what happens. That's it for the Fry Fry Friday update. Let's get away from the air conditioner. Hope everyone has a great day. Oh, I said I was feeding, so I'm just feeding. Let me let me just do this over here. I'm just feeding some Fish Freaks Plus First Flakes. And it's similar in size to, um, it's a little bigger than First Bites, Akari First Bites, but it's got much better ingredients as well as uh, better protein, 45% protein, so that's great. Um, let me show you. I don't know if I can do it one handed though. So hold on, let's see. Okay, I opened it with one hand. So that's what it looks like. It's uh, flake food. But yeah, that's it. That's what it looks like. And yeah, I overfed and oh my god, it's gonna... Uh, uh, no, it won't. It's, I mean, it's like 17 gallons of water. Just a couple of fish in there. No filtration. Just natural, just plants and air. And rain and that's how we get water changes and no problems let's go feed the mollies the gold dust mollies i should probably have adult food for them those guys are ginormous but the fry aren't so yeah a lot of food in there too oh well of course you're not eating I'm getting eaten up by bugs out here, so I'm out. Hope everyone has a great Fry Fry Friday. I will be uh, back with a Sunday video. 
a Sunday fun day update and uh, you know take a look at my uh, my Facebook group Michael's Fish Room and uh, what else email me michaelsfishroom at gmail.com if you want to purchase any of my spectacular fish or you just want to say hi or you have a question I do answer every email try to answer them as soon as I get them but you know life happens so if you don't get an answer within the first hour or two just wait all right guys hope everyone has a great day See you later.